Right now, we are going to talk about Frank Center for the Arts because they have a big festival coming up <clears throat> next week and then uh, another great show after that and then one after that and after that and after that. Dave Duppy is with us and uh, Patty Williams also from the Frank Center. Good morning, both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Nice to see you again. I, I can't help but note it's been a pretty good season from fall moving forward to into the present. Uh, you know, I keep hearing that, yeah, that show sold out. Yeah, that show sold out. I mean, it's been pretty good, huh? It has been, yes. We've been excited to be able to, you know, put those shows out there for the folks to enjoy. And we've um, been happy with the outcome. Yep, the, yeah. the Pink Floyd show. I really right. wanted to see that. I'm kicking myself, but I, I couldn't make it. Yeah. But uh, that was that was great. You've had, had some really good stuff and a, a nice variety. But, uh, well, let's, let's, for people who maybe aren't familiar or maybe just moved here, uh, or Rip Van Winkle who just woke up after 30 years. <laughs> um, let, let's talk about what the Frank Center is, you know, and how it came about and how it's evolved and, uh, and, and that sort of thing. Well, the Frank Center is a um, civic center and performing arts center located downtown Marshall. Uh, back in 2002, with a little history lesson, mm -hmm. or 2000, yeah. um, it was the city owned it mm -hmm. and um, it was slated for, well, the, there was a millage and uh, the was not supported by the citizens of Marshall to, to save it. So um, then a, they were gonna maybe sell it to Oakland and it might've been demolished or whatnot. And a group of civic minded individuals got together and, and saved the civic center. Right, uh, so, headed up by uh, and, Tom Frank. Right, and Dave mm -hmm. Debbie was a part of that. Yes, so, Dave, maybe you want to speak <laughs> yes. a little bit more to that mm -hmm. history? Yeah, well, at that time, um, we ended up, the nonprofit ended up buying it from the city and then did a major renovation at that time and uh, reopened it as Frank Center for the Arts. And uh, then it's been operating uh, as, as that nonprofit since then. As the Marshall <clears> Civic <throat> Center the, Trust. Marshall Civic Center Trust and the Frank Center for the Arts. Mm -hmm. And uh, then three, a little over three years ago, three and a half years ago now, there was another major renovation done uh, where we updated uh, the, the theater. We created the uh, black box performance space in the basement and uh, updated the sound, the lighting, and a lot of the technical aspects of the building. So that's... Uh, kind of the latest thing that we've done, which really has brought it to the point where we can do some of these things like the Pink Light Show, for example. Sure, uh, yeah. Where there was a huge light show in addition to the, the musical aspects of it. If you haven't been to the Frank Center in a while, you, you just gotta check out the downstage nightclub uh, <laughs> because you guys have found a way to make that uh, into something. And for years and years, it, it was used but it was, it always felt like a basement. Right. <laughs> an old yeah. church basement. Yeah, it did. It felt like an old church basement, which is, Just I guess, what it what was. It was, what exactly. It was. <laughs> and, uh, but now it's very cool. And in fact, uh, you know, it's a good chance, too, for the audience to be up close and the performers to do some unplugged shows where, you know, it's acoustic mainly, uh, different types of groups in there. I, I really enjoy it down there. And, you know, people can have a, an adult beverage. Yes, you may. <laughs> is that every show or selected shows? Select are... shows with the nonprofit status, we can uh, pull twelve temporary licenses from the state of Michigan each year. I see. So we kind of select which shows we think you know that would benefit and, and works well with, and it usually it's about twelve shows a year that that, that works. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, I remember uh, you know a few years ago when the casino was coming in, you know. Uh, the concern was, well, that'll be the death knell of all of these uh, smaller venues like the Frank Center um, because they're going to bring in all kinds of entertainment and people are going to be out there gambling and nobody's going to go to any shows. I, I guess you guys have disproved that. Um, and I've always said right along, I think you, you, the more the merrier. Right, exactly. And it's a completely different venue. I mean, it's, you know, it's a small, intimate um, venue where you are up close to the to the artist and the artists, you know, usually has 
it's not just playing music after music after music. There's, you know, kind of a relationship that that artist usually builds with the audience. Yeah. It's it's a different experience. Sure. I think um, there's about yeah. 50 seats up in the balcony, maybe. And even those are very intimate. You're right, right there on top of you're, the action. Right. No, there's not a bad seat in the house. <laughs> yeah. What is the total seating now at the Frank Center with all the uh, improvements and changes and this and that? It's uh, right now it's 264. The last renovation. We added two uh, box seats, which each have four chairs in them. Yeah, we and love those. those, yeah. those <laughs> yes, you are, have sat in those, haven't you? <laughs> great place to sit in. Yeah. Well, those used to be the light booth and the sound booth, and right. they were up there, these big portal windows uh, uh, up in the back there. And, you know, now with new technology, you don't need them up there, you know. We've got it right down there on the floor. In effect, somebody can walk around with an iPad and pretty much run that stuff. That's and right. uh, yeah. so now yeah. you can go up there with your friends and sit four, maybe even six up there and... Uh, you know, and have a good old time up there in a private box. It's right. kind of a neat thing. It's, a, it's yeah. a great addition. Yeah, we probably shouldn't talk about it because uh, I don't want too many people getting those seats when I'm at home. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, no, they don't have those. Uh, oh, no, that's great. Uh, the big event uh, next week is the, I want to make sure I get the name right, The is it the Ice, Wine, Beer, and Blues festival you got it yes did, did beer correct. get added in there some, yeah at some we point? added beer a couple of years ago well so, that never yeah. hurts no it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> so you said a couple of years ago how long has this been going on well the city um of marshall did it for a while it, it ran through the chamber mm -hmm. and then about five years ago um we took it on as a fundraiser so they offered it to the frank center if we'd like to do that because they were getting rid of some of their events and um so we took it on and, you know, they, we've been doing the blues for, Man, well, well, that yeah, was always happening years, on the Saturday yeah. night. And so that's why it was kind of a natural fit where we took over the, the fundraiser part of Friday night with the ice wine and beer tasting. And then the, we had the blues already going on Saturday night. It's kind of like a restaurant. You know, you have restaurants <laughs> that have a lot of different stuff, but they have a signature dish often. Mm -hmm. And uh, the signature <clears throat> dish provided at the Frank Center by Chef Dave Deppy uh, <laughs> has pretty much been uh, blues concerts, yeah. which uh, the Frank is getting very well known for. Uh, sort of like the the bone over in uh, the theater over in, in Alvy, and they're getting known for their blues also. Sure. But uh, you, you've been bringing blues acts to the Frank ever since it opened. Uh, actually, yeah, since well, yeah, since the renovations back in the early two thousands. Yeah, and uh, the the uh, interestingly, the Winter Blues Festival, we uh, added to our calendar um, a number of years ago. Because we were getting to the point where all the other blues concerts were national touring acts. And we have a lot of great Michigan acts. And uh, so we decided well, we'll do the Winter Blues Festival. Uh, it's Michigan in the wintertime, so we don't want to have somebody traveling a long way to get here. Sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we decided to do it primarily with Michigan based acts. We're talking about the Frank Center for the Arts in Marshall. FrankCenterForTheArts.org is their website. And uh, it's really a great website because um, with uh, new technology, you can go on there and you can see the seating chart for any show. Click on those seats and buy them right there with your uh, credit card online. It's very cool. You make it easy. Yep. <laughs> Addie Williams is the executive director. And Dave Deppy, you pretty much run the building and the blues and a few other things, don't you? <laughs> all the events. That's right. All, all the events. Yeah. All the yeah. events. And there are a lot of events. You mentioned, Patty, that, you know, 12 events a year you can pull special licenses, sell beer and wine. And Are there hard drinks? We can. It's, it, you just check a separate box on the license application, uh -huh. but um, we, yeah. you can do it. And we've done it a couple times. Yeah. So, sure. Um, and uh, just gets more involved. <laughs> how many events is the Frank Center putting on in a season September through, what is it, like May? Mm-hmm. It's r roughly one a month. Okay. Um, you know, uh, a large part of our calendar is uh, used for theatrical productions. Right. And uh, because of the, uh, the time building sets and practicing for those shows, um, that does consume a lot of the calendar time. So then we fill in the extra weekends with the concerts. Well, sure. Uh, and we haven't even mentioned that uh, the Frank Center is very well known for its blues and its entertainment. It's also very well known 
for uh, young people's theater. Yeah, uh, something that started a while back. Candy Putnam uh, kind of got it going, and it's still going strong. And if you look at theatrical communities, uh, you start to see that Marshall is really ahead of the curve because they start kids young, they get them interested young, they get them some good training and experience. All of a sudden, in high school, they're way ahead of the game, and many have made a, a career, including Matt Kroll, uh, who is going to be back here to do a special show. Yeah, so he's coming in April, Matt and Friends. He's going to come do a benefit, a song and dance. Um, we haven't really wrapped up all the details of the event, but April 13th, we'll put that on your calendar. So that'll be a, a great night with Matt. Matt's gone off and he was on Broadway. He's in Chicago now. He's won several Jeff Awards, which is, um, you know, a, a great award to be noticed uh, yeah. with. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's, you know, doing great things. So he grew up on the Frank Center stage. So That'll be great. Well, let's get into the uh, Ice, Wine, Beer, and Blues Festival. What's the first thing next week that uh, we need to put on our calendar? Well, but Friday afternoon, probably starting around 4 o'clock or so, uh, John Marucci, a local ice, ice carver and chef, <laughs> um, is going to start carving the ice sculptures. And this year it's a movie theme. So uh -huh. um, we might see a house with a clock in its walls or, oh, wow, yeah. uh, you know, um, <laughs> let's see, a Darth Vader or uh, something along those lines. So he'll start carving and he'll carve till about nine o'clock, I think, Friday night. But about uh, six o'clock, starting at five, you can start buying your bracelets. But the, the pouring of the, um, the wine and the beer will start at six and that runs till 10. There's 10 locations throughout downtown Marshall, where you can go and buy your bracelet for $25. Um, it is a fundraiser for the Frank Center, and um, you can also buy a, a goblet. There's uh, two Michigan artists that we're featuring this year, the, the um, old artist who's been around doing the goblets for the last several um, events. Uh, she is um, going to do a goblet that's for sale for $10, and then we have a limited edition um, of this goblet that looks like a tree trunk. Uh, oh. It's kind of interesting. And those will sell for $20 only at East End Gallery, but the other ones will be available at the other 10 locations. And um, there'll be three locations that'll be serving beer and seven locations serving wine. There'll be a red and a white wine at each location. Um, some nibbles to eat as you go along as well. And it's, it's a fun, fun night. It's a social night. And whether it's don't worry if it's cold, you know, you're in and out yeah. of the stores and you wear a hat and some gloves and a coat and boots and it's a fun night. You run into all sorts of people and it's a, it's a great, a great evening. Sure. And we want to, we don't want it to be too warm. But, you know, we got ice sculptures that we want to right. check so out and that kind some... of stuff. So can you get bracelets before six o'clock Friday or not? At, starting at five at, at five. all of the 10 locations, you can, you know, get your bracelet and, you know, get all ready and, <laughs> but we can't start serving until six o'clock. So. Yeah. And now is there a limit to how many samples you can? You get 10 samples. All right. Yes. 10 two ounce pours. So when you get your bracelet, what do they? How do they keep track of that? Yeah, they mark it off. There's okay. like on your bracelet, there's ten numbers, and then at each time you get a taste, they just mark off a number. So I bet one of these years it'll be electronic, where they just scan your bracelet <laughs> yeah. and they know. Oh, sorry, right. buddy, you're done. <laughs> You've had your time. Yeah. All right, so that's Friday night. That's going to be fun, and then Saturday is the big blue show. Right. So the ice carving will continue. John will start off the morning, um, finishing the ice ca ice. Ca Carving. And some of that's weather dependent. You know, if it's if it's sunny, he'll get out earlier, but probably starting around nine and go until, you know, early afternoon. But then the stores will be running specials and they have uh, something that they do, a friendly little competition of, we call it morning after meat, morning after meatballs. And they just, you know, do a little sampling and a little contest amongst themselves. So that'll be going on uh, Saturday during the day. And um, yeah, then roll into the uh, blue starting at five o'clock on Saturday night. Yeah, which will start downstairs with an acoustic act on the uh, in the nightclub, right, Dave? Right. It, it's uh, actually a great evening to kind of see what we could do at the Frank Center. Um, <laughs> starting at five o'clock, uh, you can actually come and buy a barbecue dinner. Uh, it's going to be done by Zarzuela Restaurant in Marshall this year. And that'll be in our downstage club. And then five to seven, we have Jimmy Stagger from the Grand Rapids area doing a solo acoustic act for that uh, two hour period of time. 
then uh, the main stage shows start at 7. That's upstairs in the main auditorium. The opening act is a band called Seventh Son, which mm -hmm. is, uh, I believe, they're the oldest running blues band out of Kalamazoo. I think so. Yeah, they've been around Seven a piece time. band, great instrumentation, mm -hmm. uh, horns. Uh, I know they have a couple of saxophones. Uh, David Hunt, who's a great harmonica player. And uh, we've actually never had them at the Frank Center before, so that's going to be really exciting to have them. And then uh, there'll be a short intermission, and the headline act is uh, Root Doctor out of the Lansing area, and they're actually celebrating their 30th anniversary of being together as a band. And uh, that's going to be really fun because it's, it's not really your typical uh, guitar-based blues band. They're more of a uh, rhythm and blues and soul sound. Right, and very, they have a very piano keyboard, organ player. Very keyboard, just awesome. organ yeah. centric uh, performance. So that's really going to be fun. And uh, it's just going to be a, a great evening of music uh, starting at 5 o'clock. How much does it cost? The uh, advance tickets are $26. Uh, it's $28 at the door. The barbecue dinner, I believe, this year is $12. And that's for a, a full dinner, including sides and dessert. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, it seems like Mar I've said this before, and people <coughs> pretty much agree with me that Marshall has some nice momentum right now downtown. It does. Yes. Yeah, it really feels like, and it, the new brewery has helped with that, I think. Mm -hmm. But you see people down there, you know, the, the Copper Bar's been renovated now. Right. Uh, there are a couple, a whole bunch of new businesses kind of down in there, mm -hmm. and giving it a go. So we hope people will get down there and support them, support the Frank Center for the Arts, as they have been so right. far this season mm -hmm. in great fashion. Yes. FrankCenterfortheArts.org. You can get your tickets. You can find out about the upcoming shows. Um, the one that I as a, a jazz fan can't wait for is the uh, February 23rd, Saturday night, MSU Professors of Jazz. Now, might not sound as big as it is right <laughs> off hand, but not too many people know that some of the best jazz musicians in the entire world now are at Michigan State University, uh, trombonist Michael Dees, and uh, a whole bunch more uh, uh, trumpet player, Eddie and Charles, and uh, and on and on and on. Rodney Whitaker on bass. I mean, these are really world-class players, and they're going to be at the little old Frank Center for the Arts on <laughs> February 23rd. We've got a Back to the 80s show coming up February 17th. And uh, I understand you just wrapped up the college a cappella singer night. Yes, we did. That's going to be in, uh, in March, March 23rd. And we have five uh, Michigan colleges that are coming to participate in that. That'll be great, so. too. Uh, Tommy Castro and the Painkillers, Travis Meadows. We'll have you back, and we'll talk more about some of these future shows, okay? Okay. That'd be great. Thank you. Patty Williams, Dave Deppie, Frank, Center for the Arts.